I had to sell my boat in order to pay my mortgage. But I vowed to never put myself in that position ever again. And several years later, things are much, much different. Let me explain. And if you're not aware, BOAT stands for Break Out Another Thousand. And it's more of a symbolic meaning for, for all of us who buy into liabilities because every liability is always, in most cases, gonna cost you money. So back in the early 2000s, the real estate market was going insane. And as a real estate broker, we were selling a lot of real estate, making a lot of real estate commissions, and then everything pretty much fell apart. You see, when the real estate market turned, all of our contracts that were pending contracts were falling apart and nobody was necessarily going through with the sale. And I had to make tough decisions, which is the reason for this video, and I'm hoping others can get value out of it, is I had to make these tough decisions back then in order to rebuild and rebuild my financial life. And one of the things that I had to sacrifice was the boat that I owned. I had to sell it to free up capital in order to pay for my personal overhead. And a big chunk of that was my mortgage. Dolphin. You. So what did I do? I had to liquidate everything. Every toy that I had, my real estate. I realized quickly that my personal overhead was ridiculous. I was paying about five to $6,000 a month for my my condo that I lived in on the water, for my boat, for other toys. So after selling my boat, I realized the next thing that needed to go was my high mortgage. So I liquidated that, I did another video on where I moved to, and it was actually my office. And I realized quickly that living in my office allowed me to essentially have no expenses. I was financially free essentially at that time. However, living in an office is just, it's not a good look. But this is where we actually had a futon couch. And that futon eventually became my primary bed for, I wanna say, six or seven months. So that first night sleeping on a futon in my office, I started to reflect and figure out what my next step was. What, what was the new journey that I was about to partake in? And I realized quickly that was it. The new journey was me having very little overhead, very low cost of living. And I realized quickly that that was it. The light bulb went off that to live a financially free life, you just gotta keep the personal overhead expenses as low as possible. I've come to the conclusion that I never wanna live any other way. The, the, the stressless life, of being financially free is so much more important because it frees up the time. It frees up the time to do this YouTube channel. It frees up the time to spend more time with friends and family. It frees up the, the time to uh, venture into different businesses that I'm interested in. So follow me on this journey as I show you my wins and my losses. 